Hey guys, Chloe here back with another video. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be teaching you how to dye your Converse brown. So I know brown's probably like a gross color to you, but lately brown and green like this have been one of my favorite colors. Recently, as you probably know since you're here, the brown high top Converse were released, but they're really hard to find. And so I found this hack on TikTok that I really wanted to try out and share with you guys. So here I have this pair of my old high top Converse. They're still in good shape. They're just a little bit dirty and I got a new white pair for Christmas. I also have this brown dye here from the brand Rhett that I ordered off of Amazon, but you can also pick this up in Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and other craft stores. Quite honestly, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, but I am going to be using YouTube videos, the instructions on this bottle and TikToks to help me out. So all you will need is this bottle of Rhett dye. They sell other colors too if you want to dye your Converse a different color. And then of course the shoes or clothing that you're looking to dye. Once again, I have my old Converse here just because they're kind of beat up. All right, so obviously I have my Converse here. You can see they're definitely really dirty and they're pretty yellow. They're honestly not even white anymore. We are going to begin with removing the shoelaces. You want to remove your laces so that your shoelaces don't turn brown with your shoes. You can probably definitely tell my shoelaces are also stained and I'm just going to be replacing them with a pair of fresh white laces. Now I have some of this masking tape. You can also use painter's tape or electrical tape. I will be covering along these soles along with this logo to avoid them getting stained brown. I've been watching some people on TikTok do this and I did realize that is the main problem people have been facing was just these soles getting stained brown. So I'm just going to work with strips of tape like this to cover all these spots that I don't want dyed. I have entirely covered the bottoms and the logo of each shoe, but now I just need to take a small blade to cut around this so that the fabric underneath the tape still gets dyed. All right, so here is one of the shoes with the logo covered. Here is the other. Following the instructions of the bottle, it says to use water 140 degrees or greater and stainless steel or a plastic bucket. Add a teaspoon of liquid dish detergent and one cup of salt. Alright, so we've moved to my basement at my old desk and I have this super big tote here that I will be using for the hot water and the shoes. So since you of course need super warm water for this, I'm just going to be getting water straight out of a faucet in my basement. The water gets pretty warm so I'm just going to hope that it works okay. But just to avoid the water cooling down too fast, I have my other supplies that I will be dumping in first. But the first ingredient here is one cup of salt and one teaspoon of liquid detergent. Now I just have this pail that I'm going to be filling with the very hot water and dumping it straight into the container. So here we have the first bucket of hot water. Bucket number three. I think I'm going to add one or two more buckets just to make sure my shoes can get fully submerged. I'm now going to throw on a pair of rubber gloves to avoid staining my hands brown with the dye. This doesn't say how much dye to add, but I think I'm going to do about half or the whole bottle. Alright, I added about half the bottle and I have these old dowels here that I'm just going to be using to mix everything together. I'm going to, of course, make sure that all the detergent and salt is mixed in along with all the dye fully mixed. All right, I think I have this mixed pretty well, so it's about time to add the shoes in. Now we are going to submerge the shoes in the dye. I'm going to use my hands to mix them just to make sure everything gets soaked in, but the instructions do say just to mix this around for 30 to 60 minutes until you get your achieved color. A darker color when it's wet will mean a darker outcome. I went ahead and I also pulled the tongue forward so that I can make sure it gets covered as well. There are still some black stains, but I think it'll be covered whenever the dye fully soaks into the sneaker. Alright, so it has been just a little bit over 30 minutes. I have a new pair of gloves here and you can see that the shoes have definitely gotten super dark sitting in the dye. The bottoms definitely did get stained because the tape wore off, but now we are going to remove them, let them drain, and then we are going to rinse them. To let these drain, I'm literally just going to set them on the edge of the bin. And I have an old cloth over my desk, so it doesn't matter if they drip on that. Here's the second pair. I'm going to once again just peel the tape. Gia's here now. It's been like actually a while. I let them soak for 
about 30 minutes then i let them drain out this is what they look like right now we're about to go rinse them out in the shower though to get out like the extra dye and stuff then i just took off the tape because it was falling off we're going to use acetone to try to remove like this extra dye around the bottoms i guess all right it is a day later and i actually ended up rinsing them in the shower and then running them through the washer this is what they look like right now they're still damp and they do really need to dry still here is a more accurate look at the color with different lighting, but you can see that they did turn out pretty good. I actually realized though that I bought the chocolate brown dye, I think it was called, and people are using the dark brown, but I still really like this color, so I'm probably just going to keep this color instead of like re-dyeing them. Like I did already mention, you can see there is a little bit of staining on the logo, and of course the soles did get a little bit dirty. TikTok told me though to clean the soles of the shoes, you can use nail polish remover which is acetone based and I just have these little disposable cotton rounds here because I don't want to use my reusable ones since I use this for my face but we're going to use this to try to scrub the soles. Alright so here's the final product of my sneakers. You can see the soles are still pretty dirty. I wasn't able to fully clean them so I'm going to try to find another like tip or something on TikTok for that. And I also made the mistake of accidentally scrubbing off some of the logo on each shoe but I kind of like the look of it because I think it makes them look a little more beat up. So it kind of just pulls them together in that way. Yeah, I put a pair of shoelaces from an old pair of Converse in these ones. And this is how they look. I'm actually really happy with this color. And I do want to try it with the beige and pink ones. But I don't know because I think it'll be cheaper and I'll be able to get my accurate size and everything that way. You can see here, this is how they finally turned out though. And the color is lighter than the normal brown Converse. That's because I bought a shade lighter of dye without realizing. But I do like this shade a lot still. So I'm just going to keep... Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful if you were looking at dyeing your Converse because of TikToks or other videos you've seen. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll do my best to answer them because I know I'm really bad at explaining things. So hopefully this video wasn't too hard to understand. Hey guys, so if you may already know if you're here from my TikTok or if you saw my TikTok because of here, I also made a TikTok of making these shoes, which literally blew up. It has 675,000 views and 132.5k likes so thank you for that i did a results video and a lot of you are telling me to use mr clean magic erasers nail polish remover which i tried straight acetone clorox bleach i'm getting a lot of tips on how to clean these so if i do i'll leave an update in the comments or something or you can check my instagram or tiktok but yeah i'm going to insert this tiktok afterwards just so you guys can see it if you missed it if not go check it out on my tiktok as well but once again thank you for the support on that and thank you for the tips i'll try to leave an update and let you know if i found a way to clean them For you guys today so always remember to leave a like comment down below and subscribe you can find my social medias in the description and i'll see you in the next video bye